Hey guys, welcome to our channel. This is an introductory video to the RoboKit's Arduino Servo Control Board, which is an amazing and unique product to make RC servo control robots like four-legged walking robots, humanoid robots, biped robots, robotic arm, or any other servo controller board. Well, this board supports a variety of RC servo motors, ranging from the smallest SG90 to a 60 kg CMRC servo. Okay. Now we know that the servo motors can be controlled using an Arduino board as well. But imagine controlling 17 of these motors with the Arduino Uno. It would be a jungle of wires and the programming effort would probably take weeks if not months for an experienced roboticist. Now the RoboKit's Arduino Servo Control Board is unique that you can program your robot without writing a single line of code directly by using the graphical interface software provided with the board. So let's check it out how it works. Here we go. Now I'm firing up the software. This is the graphical interface that you will see once the software starts. We are into USB mode at present. So we are just going to push connect and the red button should become green. Yes. And now we are ready. So as I move the slider one, as I have connected the motor, the motor starts to move. It is as simple as that. Now we are just going to show you that if we had six motors together, how quickly you could generate the moves for a robotic arm. Okay. This is the robotic servo arm using six servo motors. And this has been connected to the Arduino robot control board. Now what we are going to do is, we are just going to plug in the power. Here we go. And connect the software. Here we go. And on the screen, I'm just going to connect and yep, the robot is connected. The button turns to green. And now I'm, by just moving the slider, I can control the motion of all the servo motors. So here we go, servo one, servo two check, servo three check, servo four check, Servo 5 check and Servo 6 check. Okay, so it's as easy as plug and play. Now let us make some moves with the robot. So let's see 45 degrees right, going down, turning the wrist. Opening the jaw. Okay, so this can be move one. Next, if we close the jaw. Okay. Um, we go back to home position here. We go back to home here, here. And we add to move here. So now if we run a sequence here in the loop, it's going to perform both the actions continuously. We could also add some delay in the line. So if we add a 500 second delay, now let's run the sequence again. So you can see it's it's pretty simple using the servo motors, multiple servo motors with the board. And the best part is you could generate an Arduino code directly by the click of a button. So now I'm just going to generate an Arduino code for this. It will ask me to disconnect the board and voila, the Arduino code is generated. I will open the Arduino IDE, open a new file. Okay. Here we go and just paste the code and we are good to go. 
now i could download this code directly into this board here we go yes just stop save and it's gonna compile and then it's directly gonna download the code into the board and what this what this is going to do is this is going to make the robotic arm autonomous so even without the use of a pc the robotic arm is going to function like we have programmed moreover moreover there are these digital pins uh, still available in the servo controller board okay which can be used to interface switches or other sensors as well which can be used simultaneously with the movement now we can see the code has been uploaded i'm going to disconnect the wire i'm going to disconnect the battery for a bit okay and just have to add one jumper here so that it runs in the autonomous mode here we go the jumper is added now i'm going to connect the battery again and let's see so guys now the robot is working without a computer in autonomous mode doing the same moves which we have programmed it to do so it's as simple as plug and play very easy to use and with an awesome graphical user interface we are going to discuss more about the functionalities of the robot servo control board and the graphical user interface in the next video till then bye